Alright, I'm on my way now to go catch the new Assassin's Creed film with my brother. Hope it doesn't suck, and I'll let you know if it does afterwards. Alright, we just got out of the Assassin's Creed movie, and um, now you're gonna hear my brother's reaction. What'd you think? Everybody said that it was bad, and it got like a 16 on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't think it was that bad, but my friend was so lost. Yeah, so I guess um, the movie was probably for fans of the game more than it was for critics, mm -hmm. which would explain all the negative scores. Yes. Hi, I'm going to expand on my brother's absolutely stellar review and also give a little bit of my own. For one, it was well acted, I'll say. Uh, the actors did a pretty good job in their roles, but the scripting, it felt impersonal and they didn't give names to a lot of the characters. Usually in the games we have a 60-40, we'll say, uh, split between a past and a present. And I think they could have explained the present and the past more. They had a sort of opening crawl uh, at the beginning of the movie, but it only explained the overview of the war between the Assassins and the Templars. I think for this movie, you do need a certain appreciation for history. Um, I asked my brother about that, and like he said, he understood most of what was going on because they learned about the Spanish Inquisition, but his friend, who I, I guess he hadn't paid attention in history much, he said it was completely lost, and I saw him throwing up a few hands now and then in the movie. But... It was good. Um, now, it wasn't a blockbuster by any means, but definitely worthy of at least going to see it. Red. Red Deb. Oh, he was already dabbing, so it doesn't really make sense for me to say that. I'm on the way to the zoo with my girlfriend, and before that, we're getting some breakfast at a local what, deli? Bodega? Got something like that. Now I'm at the LAU Hot Bagel. We're just sitting in here. I got a heavily salted bacon and cheese, New York classic, and apparently got whatever that is. Now onwards to the zoo! Assorted ducks, and we're feeding them. Or she's feeding them, I'm just videotaping it. Oh, it sure is a lot of ducks. Yeah, you know there are different feeding methods for them? Some of them just like put their head under the water and others are fully diving. I don't know what you call it. It's a mountain lion. That's pretty cool. Now we're inside the aviary. I don't see any birds though. Maybe they're at the top. It's some sort of... I don't know, what is that, a egret? I don't know, it looks like one. Oh, wow. Oh, it definitely is, look at that neck. And there's two. Wow, it's pretty. Oh, but it's kind of dumb. This is what I was talking about before. Dabbler. And here's a field of appas. This is a pudu. They're the world's smallest deer, allegedly. I don't know, I'm not a deer. Let's see if I can get on eye level with them. That little baby. Hey. Hey. Wow, look at him. He's so small. Can't even deal with this right now. <laughs> oh, it's cute. It's cute. It's too cute. These are called peccaries or something. These are endangered birds. Oh, they're gone. So last year, this bear was doing the exact same thing that it's doing right now. This is the real reason. Oh, I, this is the real reason why we're here. She wanted to pet the, the goats, and there's some sheep too, and really, really big rabbits. He just wants food. Yeah, they just want food. They don't care how many hands they have to lick. Isn't that right, Mr. Goat? Jimmy, he wants the food. He doesn't want you to pet him. Some sheep. They don't want food. Now these guys are. These guys are splashing. Well, they were, I promise. But not now. There you go. Here's some more goats. It's a different kind. I think these make milk. Not the one with the horns. Is this the same one? No, the other one's over there. Sorry, I'm profiling goats based on their appearance. Now we can tell that I'm from the city. 
by the fact that I'm videotaping horses like it's a big deal. Horses. Careful, these bite and spit. Open palm. Don't give it any fingers to bite. A shocking turn of events. The brown one has entered the fray. She beckoned to some sheep and they came. Now look at that fluffer. So we're here in Toys R Us now. I'm looking for a Christmas gift. I wanted to get my friend John um, Jota Monopoly for Christmas because he hates Monopoly and I thought what better way to show my appreciation for his friendship than by getting him something that he hates. And he has a Kanto version already. Yeah, and he has the Kanto version already, so I figured why not add to the collection. Here in Kimmy's apartment. Oh, and there's some dogs too. They always want attention. And I will not give them attention. 3.30 p.m. and my girlfriend sister Colleen is cat sitting. Yeah, cat sitting. This is the cat sitting cat, Bobo. So coming off of the Assassin's Creed movie, I actually had a marginal interest in Assassin's Creed Rogue. I read an article once a while ago that claimed that it was the best Assassin's Creed game that you were never going to play. So I'm going to play it and upload the highlights of my playthrough on YouTube. Hi, sorry about the background noise. I'm, uh, I'm going to wrap one of the presents I got from my friend. Here, wait, let me walk over here. So right here we got... This is the gift. Ouch, that was my knees cracked. So I got him this uh, Pokemon Monopoly because, like I said, he hates Monopoly. I thought it would be an appropriate gift. Um, I'm going to wrap it in a collage of cup noodle containers. You see this right here? I'm going to measure these first real quick because this is what he did for me on my birthday. He made a gift wrap out of magic cards. And I thought that was really cool, so I saved it. And I think this is going to be even better than that. I, it sounds like I'm whispering a little bit because I'm afraid that they can hear me even though I muted my headset. Uh, and I'm going to go do this now. So it looks like I'm going to need about 12 of these cup noodle things. She's helping me wrap. Thanks, Luna. My beautiful finished product. Gorgeous. Pretty displeased with the footage that I got for the first episode of my Assassin's Creed Let's Play because I can't get the voice recording to work out well. What I think I'm going to try to do is um, edit it in post. Just put um, a narration over the first episode, but I really do have to figure this out. I, it's really annoying. About to leave now and go get a haircut because my hair has been too long for far too long. Um, I'll be back and I'm probably going to be wearing a hat for a while. So I just got out of the haircut and my the case that I have my phone is a little cracked on the selfie camera side, so I'll probably show that later. But for now, um, we're heading to pick up some last minute Christmas gifts. Hooray for being unprepared. As you can maybe see, my hair is a little bit shorter. Well, actually, it's a lot of it shorter. It used to come down past my eyes, but this is how far it goes now. I think it looks pretty good. Maybe I won't need to wear a hat. So we're making <clears throat> hot chocolate. We got our we got our marshmallows, we got our sweetened condensed milk in a saucepan. Saucepan. And we've got some hot cocoa mix or is this unsweetened cocoa mix? It's not unsweetened hot cocoa, cocoa mix. Powder. It's unsweetened cocoa it's powder. Just pure it's cocoa. just pure cocoa. She said to put it in one and a half salt. teaspoons. Yeah, that's salt. She said to put in one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract, but I said fuck it, let's just throw the whole thing in. And we did not throw the whole thing in because ultimately I don't have a say in this. We got that puppy on the stove. I can't really see it that well, but it's there. Is it already ready? Yeah. Oh, that was quick. Bam! About to start playing this game called Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. One person has uh, an instruction manual is how this works, and they have to dictate to me how to defuse a bomb based on modules that only I can see. We're going to probably start with the easy one and still fail. Uh, I won my attempt, so now my girlfriend's giving it a shot. Let's see what happens. Four minutes left on the clock. Come on. I was able to get mine. Should we do something else? For reference, my friend on the other end, uh, his name is John. He's dictating how to defuse the bomb. Let's check back in when it's closer to zero. Seems to be some communication no, impasse here. Light. They're running out of time. They're running out of time fast. No, no, no. Okay. Okay. You know. 
There's also I would record this on like a capture blue, card or something. Because there are yellow, there's a recording black, program yellow. on my computer, which is what I'm recording my says it's created okay. run through. On yeah, it. But yeah, too. For something like this, I feel like this is more. I don't know, entertaining. Yeah, one. Because you get to see her reaction and we get to see the screen at the same time. Well, of course, so I could use a webcam. You can see my setup right there. There's no webcam. It's a really small computer okay. as it is. Oh, um, shit. Okay. There's something in the back. Um, C, P, B, star. <laughs> They're out of time. This is it. It's gonna blow up. <laughs> the hieroglyphics. <laughs> Goodbye, Kimry. I think I'm gonna cut off today's vlog here, not today's, this uh, three-day segment vlog here because I'm gonna have a lot of footage from Christmas and um, I don't want to have like a 30-minute video. I think 15 minutes is pretty much the max anyway without verification, so I'm gonna stop here. Like and subscribe. Be back for more content. Probably the Assassin's Creed thing sometime soon.